All right, I am back. All right, I... shit. There we go. Forgot to mute. 
like that. Alright, welcome everyone to the War Thunder side. I think I should add a little bit to this. Honestly, if rewards not collected. Oh, cool. 354 bonds. Let's turn to me. Pause that. Eight hundred and fifty war bonds. Let's see what we got available now. That's actually kind of cool. So I can buy, huh, so I can buy blueprints, is that it? Okay. Well, that'll be interesting. So I need okay, that's for ten missions. That'll be very nice. Two hundred forty K plus sixty-eight is three hundred and eight thousand SL. Okay, so I'm like sixty percent of the way there then. Alright, let's get this underway. Germans, British, French, Swedish, Israeli. Looks like it's at least a 7.7. .7. I don't remember. Pretty sure the IL-20 is 7.7. It might be 8.0. I don't know. Can't remember off the top of my head. That's the thing that kind of sucks about, especially uh, when you start getting the jets, it just starts getting such a big map. I mean, for the right reasons, but it takes a minute to get into battle, for sure.
Let's go after this 262 because he won't know that I'm going after him. Jesus, Mig. Stop wasting all your damn ammo, dude. Fucking hell. Jesus, I felt more of a threat to my enemy team than, or the, uh, my own teammates than to the enemy. Jesus. Goodness me. Good goodness me what? <laughs> I'm also aiming pretty badly. Are you using default belts? No, I'm using ground targets. It's just... You know... It's just their 12.7s. There's not a whole lot I can do, unfortunately, about it. That and some poor aim. I'm gonna... Chalk that as... Um, Okay, it doesn't look like he's going for me. That'd be the issue. Full tracer belts are the move. Well, yeah, but I thought they nerfed those in a couple patches ago. For it's just for the uh, 7.7s. They're still full APITs. They set fires like crazy and do plenty of damage. And, I mean, I'll try them out again next game. It's just from previous aircraft that has, you know, the same guns. I've learned that they don't really work. But I'm willing to try it out again. I should be safe. Yeah, he's heading away. Yeah, it doesn't look like he sees me. Alright. 
should be able to get a soft land in here. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? No. It's all right. Yeah. Attention to the map. <sighs> well, that's my luck. Basically, right there. All right. Yeah, tracers. I don't really care for stealth. So while I was using ground targets, yeah. So I had APIT, incineraries, and then AP API. And yeah, with traces, it's just APIT. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe it's because I'm used to the lower bow reins where you don't get as much pen. Maybe that's why. I was thinking that. Because definitely with lower bow reins, the, uh,. Tracers don't work at all. So how are you, uh, Patser? What brought you to my channel? Let's slide that. Hilarious Viking. Also, good morning. Hmm, <laughs> yeah, Afghanistan. Sometimes different planes with different belts, even with the same gun, a lot of lower tier tracer belts aren't APIT and it's just a bunch of T, which you're one I want AP strength. Well, then, yeah. Been doing okay. And so, asking, yeah, no problem. I mean, you I might as well ask, because, I mean, you're making a good conversation, so. Not too bad at matchmaking. Oh. Looks like maybe seven. No, it's not all twenty-eight. That's seven, seven. FAA is one of my favorite planes to play. It's decently fast, accelerates okay. For now, we... So, contrary to that, to me, it doesn't accelerate. But, the guns are fine. It turns, you're alright, it turns pretty well. Especially for an early war jet. Um, and while the, gu the guns are serviceable. You just have to fire a lot. Yeah, they are good at dogfighting. But, I mean, you're in a Saab 105. It's one of the best aircraft at this bow rating. So that would explain why you love dogfighting them. Shh, I'm innocent. No. You are not innocent.
I thought sub 105 was 8.3. Mm. Need to check. I don't know about that. Oh, it is. It might be 8.3, but there's like seven different variations of the same damn aircraft. The SK-60 is the same. Trying to, trying to remember what the other ones are. But honestly, comparing this to the MiG-9 is like night and day. The MiG-9 has one thing, and that is overall top speed, and that's it. It has nothing else going for it. It is slower, I know that. Okay, okay. Well, I don't have to worry about him. Well, yeah. But, I mean, that's because you have the Vigan. The Vigan's very good, so... Why use something that's... ...worse? This guy wants to just keep letting me get closer and closer. I'm fine with that. Ugh, turn. My teammates did not do me any favors there. There's literally two of them and they can't do shit against a sea venom. Ah, uh, to me the big one. All right, sorry. I, you know, uh, if I'm funny, they're moving the A5 Saber down in bow rain, but not the Cougar or the Thunderstreak when the A5 Saber is already better than the Cougar or the Thunderstreak. Are they? Me, the vegan is so good, it's kind of meh. Doesn't really have anything bad to it, but there's also nothing where it really excels either. Other to lean people with 30 millimeter low gun. Well, yeah, because the 30 mils aren't that good, they just aren't. That is interesting that they're moving the A5 down. Where are they moving the A5 down to? To be fair to the A5 Sabre, though, it doesn't accelerate. But, I mean, if they're moving the... <laughs> Spitfires, yeah. 
Actually, I think I'm on my way to the 22. What was I researching last? Yeah, the 22. But yeah, uh... Back to what I was saying, though. I get a dunk on Sagers and Spitfires, too. Yes, you do. But if they're moving that down to 8.0, why aren't they moving the MiG-15 down to 8.0? Because this thing just gets dunked on everything. Um, because the only thing you only ever get to face is all of these. All you face is um, F-100s, top-of-line F-86s, F-104s, A-4s, Thunderstreaks. Well, yeah, but the Ish was better is better than the MiG-15. Oh, I misread that. Okay, good. If they're moving the if they're moving the A5 saber down to 8.0, then yeah, it makes sense to take down the MiG-15s and the uh, Ish down to 8.0 because you just get slaughtered. And the and the reason why they're doing that is so you can stop facing 9.3s. That is the reasons why they're doing that. Because a lot of people were complaining that the only thing you ever face is 9.3s. Because that's all you did. All you would face is SU-7s, um, F-104s, which you can do nothing about. Good luck hitting an F-104. Uh, no, that is incorrect because... The MiG-15 has one extreme Achilles heel, and that's its terrible-ass guns, and the fact you get no missiles, or countermeasures. That is why I say I'm fine with them moving it down to 8.0, because all you face is stuff that is twice as fast as you, and you have shotguns. For uh, guns, Sagittario too. I fucking hated facing those. So annoying. <laughs> that looks just wrong. Are they though? Because what, what good is having a fantastic aircraft if you can't hit anything with the guns? That That's the whole point of the aircraft, is to kill things. And also, it to be honest, its maneuverability is not great. It's certainly better than the MiG-9, I'll say that. The MiG-9 is honestly one of the worst aircraft I've ever flown. Oops, shit. I accidentally pressed that too soon. Meh, I don't need landing gear anyways. I'm a one-way trip, baby. Well, it's just two opposite sides of the same problem. And also, it's because it has no ammo capacity either. It doesn't. That doesn't help with any of the MiGs, really. At least until what the 21 or the 19, where they finally get the updated guns, where they don't miss everything.
Maybe that's why the Spitfire is just so OP in almost every single battle rating. It's because you can just get your guns on the target and the guns just rip everything apart with, especially once you get the Hispanos on the Mach 2B. Wow, a kicker. Oh, I so here's my question. So if they're moving uh, the F eighty six A five down, does that make it cheaper? Are they going to make it cheaper? You wouldn't know. Well, yeah, obviously. It hasn't happened yet. But, I mean, in, in theory, they should, because if it's a lower battle rating, it should cost less. In both SL and RP. Okay, just making sure. What is this Kika doing? Wait, who are you going for? <laughs> nah. Someone else can handle it. Attention to the map. I have the FH. F3 HD man, it's a really cool plan, but it's not really cool. Yeah, I kind of get you there. It looks like a cool plane. Hello, Mig. Uh, Come here. There we go. Yeah, anyone in a uh, MiG-9, I just feel bad for. Because I know the pain that they're going through. Interestingly, though, I did better in the MiG-9 than I did the MiG-9 late, for whatever reason. It's weird. Nope, oh, Spitfire. Ooh, ooh, shit. It was too late to see service during the Korean War. Too, too early to see service in Vietnam, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Demon is an awesome name. Up, I'm fucked. Yeah, and that's probably why just nobody really knows about it, is because it didn't do anything. Those early, uh, well, interwar planes didn't really get to... Didn't really get to make a name for themselves, if that makes sense.
excuse me. So yeah. So yeah, there's the FE3D. F3H, yeah. 1140 kilometers an hour. 9.3, yeah, that... That's not really that fast, but I mean... Oh, which one is it? That's... That I always, like, wonder why is it even... At its battle rating. Uh, yeah, the A7D. I'm just like... Seriously? At 10.3 and 10.7, you are you have something that can't even go Mach 1. Now, granted, it has very good, um... Pretty sure it has, like, a shit ton of bombs and everything. Secondaries. Yeah, it's got quite the uh, arsenal right here. But still, like, Jesus. At 10.3, you could also have an Aardvark. Or even lower, you could have a Thunder Chief. So it just makes me wonder, like, why? Yeah, at least, at least with the F5, the Tech Tree F5, you're getting the best one, the E. So, did you know the P47 Thunderbolt is faster than the A7 Thunderbolt 2? Yeah, in the dive it is. Also, A10 is also known as free food. Yes, but also the pilots that fly them are dumber than a box of rocks. In level flight, interesting. I did not know in level flight. I knew in a dive, yeah, I could do it. Because, I mean, that's not saying much. But, I mean, you also have to consider both of them were designed for completely different roles. For the most part, at least thinking about it, because Thunderbolts, yes, they're ground pound, ground and pound aircraft, but they're also meant to actually fight other planes. Whereas the A-10 never was designed. Yeah, that is that is fair. And also the A-10 is not meant to go very high either. But most planes I fly at. As long as I avoid the turn fly, I'll be fine. Turn fly, on the other hand, is so slow, it's turn circles smaller than most I play. Yeah. So another thing that kind of sucks for me is the two higher tier jets that I have, both rank 7, are the F5C, which I don't particularly like, and the Jaguar IS, which I made a video about how bad it actually is. It's only saving grace is the missiles. And the problem with the F5, I find, is the missiles. And the fact it's not fast, either. Now, it's my opinion. You can have varying opinions. That's perfectly fine. Uh, Beer Lord 1. <laughs> P47 is antenna is a high altitude fire. Yeah. It was pushed into ground pound roll because they had more of them that they needed. Well, yeah, and it actually was very good at it, too, which helped. So it's counter air strike in a place where air superiority is guaranteed and the enemy anti air is non existent. Yeah. Basically, Germany in 1945. Because, I mean, everything was destroyed at that point. Late 44, early 45, everything was pretty much done. Well, the F-5 does have shit missiles given the BR, but they do work 
their work now and then. Not the fastest, but boy, that flight performance. I The flight performance is overrated, honestly. Because you're going against stuff that's higher battle ratings constantly. So they can outturn you. <laughs> the P-47M variant was designed to take on German jets and did so successfully. Yeah, it was one of the... Uh, pretty sure it was the only thing that could keep up with a 262. Because I don't even think the P-51 could. Huh? We didn't even collide. Good job, Gaijin. What the fuck? Yes, five meters away. <laughs> collide. Hey, Nick, what's up? Well, when my buddies play 11.3, I jump into it. Was my 10 point. Okay. The F5E is different than the F5C. You see, the F5C, or the F5E, is about 500 kilometer hour, kilometers an hour faster, and you get better missiles. Mainly because you get actual engines, not hamster wheels. Attention to the designated grid square. Ooh, nice down tier. I chill at Mach 0.99 most of the time due to gun pod. I do want the FCU though, even more missiles, and they're better. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yes, the Allies made a lot of um, very clever shit. It's just... The Germans also made a lot of clever shit, too. It's just... The problem was, is they didn't get... Were able to do... They weren't able to give it the proper development time. That is a lot of text, yes. Yes, it is. Oh, and the U.S. employed g suits in World War II. Yeah, uh, P-51s had them. I don't know if anyone... I don't know if any other plane did. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, the Bearcats had them, too, the F-8. But they didn't really take part. Yeah, that makes sense. Because I was surprised that, like... I can't remember if it was 4.0 or something. Or maybe it was the higher P-51s. When you start getting G-suits, I'm like, really? After this battle, I'm going to look at the F5E and see what missiles you get. Also, proximity fuse was a very big thing. They were. Because it would blow up, you know, near the aircraft instead of... Next to it, J-suits? No, G suits. Did I say J suits? Attention to the designated grid zone. We are losing. All right. 
I did say J. Well, I meant G. Same thing. Definitely. That's about the one thing I didn't want to see. Sorry. Come here. Right, is he doubling back? Yes, he is. Come here. Pilot. Boom. Yeah, the P-80 didn't have any combat, so I... Like, does it truly count half the time? Damn, that was lucky. I'll take two kills. Yeah, if he sticks on you, you're... F yeah, I, I know. I've had... In my MiG-9 late, I could hit a thousand kilometers an hour and that f those fuckers were still on me. It's quite frustrating. Germany has had cool stuff like acoustic torpedoes. I'm not even going to pronounce that last one. I'm... To me, that's a what the fuck. <laughs> Alright, before I go into battle, F5E. Secondary weapons. Yeah, you can get the AM9Js, which are just, you know, better. Maximum overload, 20 Gs compared to... 10. So it might have the same problem where it falls for anything, like, remotely hot, but at least, at least it has the potential to hit something, unlike the AM9Es. Where it's just like, yeah, good luck. Like, it's, it's terrible. Oh, yeah, um... So, uh, Pastor Bean, you're still here. Uh, would you consider following me by any chance? Seems like you, uh, enjoy it here. Enjoy talking. Hello. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. It's conversations like these that keep me going. Right, I think I have one more battle and I should be able to by the uh, F-84. <laughs> Wish my ship in Wiles had. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Anechoic? <laughs> Which well, that's so confusing to me. Okay, okay. So it's not as bad as what I thought. 
less echo tiles. Yeah. Yeah, they put those on their U-boats, right? If I'm not mistaken. Okay. So what do you think of this? I'll answer this for a lot of American tech in World War II had to do with anti-aircraft capability like radar guide, fire control and proximity fuses. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's that that was their bread and butter. The acoustic torpedo and when maybe we should do something about the semi-tracking torpedo. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about the CV changes that are upcoming? A lot of people are bitching about it. I'm just like, why? Everyone's bitching about how OP CVs are, and let's be honest, they are. Attention to the map. Help pr to protect a deal. No deal. So, now that they're nerfing the crap out of them, why are you complaining? I mean, I already know why they're complaining. It's because of destroyer players, and I'm just like, well. Tell me how fun it is when you're supposed to have all the stealth, and you have a, two CVs that just YOLO straight at you until you die. Yeah. But the thing is, they can't get rid of them. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I mean, they can't... It's not like they can get rid of them. The American A didn't work. It was incredible when you compare that to the last enemy that U.S. faced. Japanese A was even good on its own. Not even comparable to American anti aircraft. Yeah. The only one that was really comparable, I'd say, was probably the German AA. But the problem was, is they didn't have enough of it. And it got all destroyed, pretty much, in early 1944. So they didn't really have to deal with it. Goodbye. Have fun controlling. That's not AA though, that's that's a fighter. Oh, I fucking hate 288 so goddamn much. And the fact that, you know, AA. Uh, what? You might have for real went. Maybe if we just slap enough of this shit AA on it, it might not be useless. Yeah, it's still useless. And Britain uh, was one of the countries leading the charge of developing radar and proximity fuses. Yeah. They are the ones that invented radar, so. They didn't strap on enough, obviously. Hey, since we're anti air and. It's anti-air duties in the form of a fighter. 
Yes, that's a technicality, though. Technically, if you want to be pedantic, it's air defense. It just depends on how pedantic you want to be, I suppose. But yeah, everyone loves the 288 so much. It's so much fun. So much fun doing with a bomber that's as fast as most early war jet fighters. Actually, in the Yak-15P, uh, I don't even think you can catch up to it. Because at 750, your wings break off. So, good job, Gaijin. I'm sure if the Yamaha just had a few more 25mm turrets, it would have been fine. Totally, just strap on a little more. This time it'll work, this time it'll work. Exactly, exactly. Well, it could be worse. It could have been the Musashi, which had even less. I mean, hell, why didn't they just make the entire Yamato end-to-end uh, -end just AA guns? Just a massive frigate full of AA guns. And a dive 8280 is stupid fast, but it can't dive forever. You want to bet? That's all those fuckers do anyways, is just dive. Take the main guts out, replace them with a billion A guns. I'm sure nothing will go wrong with that. No, nothing at all. My teammate drive, drive, right, then parked in front of me, blocking my shot too. Just did. Oh, that's nice. Well, if it can make a 363 wall of 25 millimeter bullets, I wouldn't want to be near it. Hey. Viking, it could be worse. It could be French AA. Or, no, no. French secondaries or Italian secondaries. Or AA, really. They're both useless. Let's be honest. Oh, just a die I meant. Oh, yeah. I got you. So, you know what's funny is, honestly, the F... The F-80 is not a good-looking aircraft, not really, except for one angle, which is right here. It looks amazing. I don't know why, but it looks amazing at this angle. Every other angle kind of looks weird. <laughs> How dare you? How dare I what? <laughs> It's an early jet. It's going to look weird. Not all early jets looked weird. How dare you insult my four favorite aircraft by appearance? What's your top three? <laughs> but I did compliment the the straight above look actually looks pretty good. P-51H, F-3H, and F-86. I mean, I'll give you the F-86 and the P-51. They're good looking. The F-3, I mean, that's just personal opinion. I think it looks dorky, but that's my opinion. I mean, my favorite looking aircrafts, one of them's a bomber. And that's the B-25. I think it's a very good-looking aircraft. It also sounds amazing, too, in real life. 
the bling demon skin from Thunder Five. Oh God. And then my other favorite's the A4. I just think it looks really cool. It's a small Delta Wing. Early Delta Wing at that. Why is that SK-60 going like 200 kilometers an hour? The Bling Demon skin, or B-25 does look good. I know, it, it does. And then you look at the thing it replaced and you're just like, holy fuck, that thing's ugly. And I mean the B-18, the B-18's hideous. And also slow as fucking hell. Like I'm pretty sure the B10 is slightly well. It's not. It's not faster, but it's not far off either. Uh, I'll read that in a second. Nope. You're fucked. Ugh. Oh yes, get in a turn fight with me, please. Alright, well. Jesus, try... trying to shoot an enemy through my goddamn teammate. Almost fucking impossible. I don't know how I'm still alive. So I'm probably not going to be for much longer, considering my engine's pretty much gone. Okay. Your engine is fine, it's the tail that's fucked. Well, yeah, the tail is pretty fucked up already. Shit. God damn it. Well, now it's even more fucked up. <sighs> Alright, hold on. Alright, my favorite, not in order to be... F-14, A-4, and Spitfire. All good choices there. F-14 is sexy as fuck. Don't at me. All according to all known laws of aviation, there's no way a Skyhawk should be able to fly. Its wings and dimension are far too small to lift its massive bomb load off the ground. The Skyhawk flies anyway because Skyhawks don't care what communists think. Hilarious. Um... Well, I mean, have you seen... Have you seen the Nighthawk? The F-117? That thing shouldn't fly either. Actually, it can't fly without computers. Computers fail, you have to bail. <laughs> Literally, you have to bail. Otherwise, you crash. Yeah, F-117 is a masterpiece. Mm, 
at its job, sure. Not in the looks department, though. Looks department, that's another story. <laughs> nah, I'd land it. Yeah, sure you would, Battleship. Sure. Well, the Serbs showed that they don't think a Sub-117 should fly. Well, yeah, I mean, they did make it not fly, so... You got a point there. Nah, I'd win. Sure you would, sure you would. Actually... Give me. Select a crew later. Wow! They actually, uh, fixed that. Amazing! Okay, how much did I need? 63? 68. That shouldn't be too hard. I'm sure you would win, Pantser, though. I'm sure you would. No ifs or buts or doubts. Mm -hmm. Alright. Out of four Nighthawks with every Serbian A placement away. There wasn't a single dip. <laughs> well, okay, so yes, that is true. But also, it was the dumbass's mistake to, uh,. Send them on that mission despite full well knowing that they were not, uh, that they were compromised with their, uh, cam camouflage or radar detection. There we go. True, it is. Actually, I'm surprised one of you guys that you guys haven't named another aircraft that is ultimately very sexy. Especially in real life. And it was only able to be teched because the bomb bay door was open. Yeah. I think the SR-71? No, but that is a good choice. I didn't think about that. But that's not in the game. It's actually in this game. F-22? No, it's not in this game. I think uh, the F-22 is kind of overrated. It's a good looking aircraft, but... I can think of better ones. P-61 Black Widow? No. It's ugly in this game, it's even uglier in real life. It's also not that big, surprisingly. I thought it'd be bigger. Honestly, I'm a sucker for MiG-27 base. Fair enough. F7F Tiger Cat? Good looking aircraft, not what I'm talking about though. There you go, Nick. There's the one. <laughs> yes, it's obviously the F9F. Honestly, that the F9F's wings are cool as hell. You gotta admit, like it's really cool. No, Nick, you got it. It's the F111. It's the Vark. The good old Varky Vark. I just realized I had my fucking flaps on the entire time. No wonder I was so goddamn slow. There's a delay, yeah. I don't know how big the delay is, though. Panther Jet looks significantly cooler than the Cougar. Yeah. Now... What I wish they did was they took the name from the F-2 and put it on the F-9. Because then it would be the F-9F Banshee. And that would be cool as hell. Uh, okay, 10 seconds. That's not too bad.
the Banshee Opera for and the Panther, didn't it? Probably. Probably because it's nowhere near as heavy. Or bulbous. Because the F9 was a lot bigger. But I mean, they both got outperformed by the F3, so... Doesn't really matter. You should feed the F89. Um, I'm probably the only one here that's seen an F89 in real life, so... You would not believe how rare those things actually are. You should... Oh, you should get... Uh, if you give me the money, I'll gladly get it. No, we do not support violence of the F3. Okay, you're going down. But F2 to War Thunder when? Probably never. Alright, I know you don't have a fire extinguisher, so you're fucked. Come here. Come here, boy. But my F2, yeah. Or I was gonna crash. Well, his name was fitting, Pepe the Idiot. Because what he did there was a smooth brain moment. That is for damn sure. Goodbye. Hello, uh, Mr. Clock. Clock. How are you? There we go. Wow, I can't aim. I'm great out with you. Doing good as well. Doing good as well. Remember in the ground battle watching a hell diver disintegrate because he got hit directly with artillery. Yeah, I've had that happen before. Not in a Hellcat though. Or a hell diver. Whatever. Same thing, obviously. They should do a top gun with F four A fours. <laughs> What? <laughs> Bro, they'd all crash and die. <laughs> Trying to grind through the American tree. I got the F5C for air. Oof. I progress so oh, fast. I don't have enough of self gambling. Yep, there's a reason I haven't done the toolboxes. Also, the F5C, I do not. I also have it, and I do not enjoy it. We were talking about that not that long ago, actually. Die. Funny thing is, the Helldiver, at least in War Thunder, is better as a fighter than a bomber because it spawns at bomber height and turns better than most fighters at the bow range. Yeah, I've found that out. 
And the guns are potent as hell. I personally like I just heard dogfighting over missling. I just can't get to grips of it, with it. It's mi it's missiles are terrible. Like there's no sugarcoating that they are terrible. And I just struggle to dogfight because I'm constantly going against stuff that just you know blasts past me and then just YOLO missiles vaguely near me and half the time I can't do anything about it. It should be historical accurate as the F-4 were basically forced to dogfight in Vietnam. Yeah, because their missiles didn't work. So going against superior maneuverable with MiG-21s, good luck with that. <laughs> Mortar Guard Sharma Project from Sweden. I'm one of the few people who plays air, ground, and naval in War Thunder. I only play air and ground. Fuck the naval part. I'll just go play World of Warships if I want to do naval. Yeah, here's the F5. To show you how ba like to show you how badly I struggle in it. I've done 69 missions. I've gotten 36 kills. That's bad. SU25 is your main prey and then then missile some unsuspecting MiG-21s from 4 kilometers away. I've actually done that. You've gotten a missile to actually hit something from four kilometers away? Wow. That's impressive. Yeah, the only other one I have is the Jaguar IS, and I mean, that's not much better. That's 6 and 16. MiG-17 have actually done pretty well in 14 and 18. F-80, 28 and 24. IL-28, that doesn't count. That's a helicopter. MiG-15, 34 and 53. That's kind of mediocre. So, yeah. Bro is casually flying straight. Well, that... Anything can hit that. Literally, I think you could fire a rocket and it would hit. I have 99 over 60 battles with the F-80. Nice. He didn't even flare. Yeah. What you managed to find was the potato. <laughs> I don't know, from four kilometers to 90, he shouldn't be able to keep up with the MiG-21s flooring it. Yeah, if he's not paying attention, then that makes sense. I think he just got out of a dogfight. Uh, so maybe he was like calming down, thinking he was safe, and then boom, missile. That would maybe make sense then. Which MiG 21? Some of them can't take flares if you bring gun pod. Yeah. Well, I thought like the first MiG 21 didn't even get flares. Because I know the first F4 doesn't get flares. The, the F9F5 is the only good F9F in War Thunder. The 2 is the same battle rate, and it's just outright worse. And the 8 has no energy retention, constantly sees 9.3. Yep, that makes sense. Hey, F89! Oh yeah, by the way, with the F89, things are huge in real life. Like, they are so damn big. Don't think the fancy 9.3 would make 24. Got flares? No. I don't know. I, I haven't gotten to the MiG-21. I'm still at the 17. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Because the uh, F9F8, that's at... 
eight three, if I remember right. Yeah, eight three. Yeah. Saw a guy playing A60 Tram and he had 1600 deaths and 73 air kills. Wow. Also, hi Lycan. How are you? Let's get the fan going so that my back doesn't roast. I got to even more impressed. T90M, one match, zero kills. The bias was not with me. Yeah, uh. Complain in Reddit that it's not OP enough. It needs a it needs a buff. Oh, excuse me. How are we? I'm good. How are you? Uh, I think I soaked about 13 shells or something, so can't complain. Yeah, of course you could. F8685, it was constantly 93s. But since it's not garbage and people occasionally ignore, I have a positive kill death with it. Could be better, why is that? She mm. now needs to change to being Polish, and Polish will be drunk whenever they drive it, so it'll be invincible. True. You just need to play Slav music while playing it. Russian top tier players suck, but the tanks are OP. Yep. Sounds like German mains with the Tigers and Panthers. Having problems with War Thunder. Oh, uh, what's happening? Ah. Thank you for the follow, Lycan. I recently got 12 kill gun in the Tiger 2, and I think we lost. Yeah, that sounds about right. I'm actually looking forward to the uh, Tiger 2. Though I'm not sure I'm looking forward to the Tiger 2P, the Porsche. I don't want the Porsche turret because that turret sucks ass. God damn it. You are Polish as well? Nice. Nice. That's cool. Like having some variety with people. Alright, he's dead. I don't think I got the kill, though. I don't think I shot his wing off. No. I got an assist out of it. Hold on, I'll answer you guys' stuff uh, when the battle calms down a little bit. Alright. A Polish friend is marrying aircraft's TU-4. I fucking hate the TU-4. Fuck that airplane. You can't even go near it without just getting blapped out of existence. I always gain one FPS and I will play making my gameplay awful. Yeah, that... That does not sound good. I do not know what would cause that other than maybe your PC just cannot run it. P stands for pre-production, not Porsche. Okay. It's the Porsche turret, though. I just wanted to shoot him. What's your favorite vehicle in War Thunder? So far, the Typhoons. The Typhoons are hilarious. And also, I would say Type for first is the second VB French twin engine plane. With the, all those guns, you just rip apart people. Really looking forward to Swedish King Tiger, though I absolutely have no idea why the Battle Pass plane is going to be the Chinese P-51C. I don't know. Nobody knows. Nobody's probably going to go for it either. Because why would you want the P-51C? It doesn't turn. Never did. Never will. What kind of molded potato are you gaming on? Yeah. Yeah, China doesn't have enough P-51s in, in the game or Cs, yeah.
New Bow Pass will basically be only China. Yep. I don't even know how. Well, thank you for conveniently doing this. Oh, hello. What happened here? Oh, thank you for the follow, uh, Clocka. Hold on. I'll get to your guys' shit here. Popular you are. Very popular, apparently. Lenovo. It worked in the past, however. I just reinstalled it and it's acting up. Mm. How old's the Lenovo, though? Switch King Tiger American Motorboat. The Chinese Mustang is the only Chinese vehicle I see. Wait, no. I made take the PZL for being the BP. Sorry. Ah, okay. P51C is amazing. It turns better to some point. <laughs> no, it's not. P51D is so much better. Then again, the P51C is better than the uh, P51 early with the 20 millimeter Hispanos. That thing literally does not turn. Two years old. I think even my laptop with non-dedicated GPU could work the one though. Yeah, at min graphics, it could probably run it. Hmm. How much storage do you have left? Because it sounds like it could be a storage issue. That second P51, the 3.7 20mm, yeah. That one. That thing has got to have probably the worst turning circle I've ever seen from a prop plane. Like, I'm pretty sure bombers can outturn that thing. I have 20 gigabytes left. Mmm, that's not a lot. I don't know. I, uh, yeah, I didn't have a very good experience with it in realistic. Now, in arcade, the thing's OP as fuck. But that's because turning circle doesn't matter. Uh, assuming there's a decade graphics card, I would ask if the producer of the gra said graphics card is NVIDIA. Yeah. Would it be wise just to put in my external hard drive, see if that does anything? Yeah, I think that that might be a good, uh, good idea, at least. Because, I mean, if it doesn't work, at least you tried that. It's not going to... There's no harm in doing that. So, I would try that just to see if it works. I think my graphics card is NVIDIA. Hmm. Did you also make sure it's at uh, minimum settings? Like for graphics card wise? Because that would make a big difference. Oh, you didn't? Okay. Don't know how to do that? Uh, hold on. In the arcade, the P38s and Corsairs are really damn good. Well, I mean, the Corsairs are good anyways. They have 6F5 as well. Get 650 cows with decent belts. Yeah. Okay. I'll show you real quick. Give me a second. Ooh, I have enough for the F84. I forget which line is the F84 P51. Okay. Yeah. Two jets. And finally. Alright. Uh so you go to go to options. You go to graphics. And then here you have minimum, low, medium, high, maximum movie custom. I mean mine's obviously custom because I have modified it, but Try it on low or minimum and see if it improves it. 
Oh, I have it at the lowest. Ah, got you. Lightning, good. Well, lightning's all right. It's inconsistent. It's mainly because it doesn't turn, especially at high speed. Uh, the lightning. Key fifty four. Key forty four wants to talk. Yeah, key fifty four is OP. It's Japanese, and their turn circle is insane. For the most part, yeah. For the most part, I can definitely agree to that. Well, guess I'm... Man, this thing's skinny. No handhold. What do you mean? I want to hold that. It climbs decently, well, has high top speed, and gets an air spawn, plus has 450 cals and a cannon, yeah. Open up Device Manager and find Display Adapters real quick. That might be a good idea, too. Oh my god, I hate Flanders. Why do you hate Flanders? Thunderjet is lightning fastest. Don't turn while in it, ever. Yeah, I know. It's basically a MiG-9 that actually has guns. Did that say blinker? Where? No handhold. Press gauge service. Got on the fuel remaining. Zero. Well, I'm gonna run out. <laughs> Oil pressure. Yeah, I don't see where you see blinker. Unless you're talking about it would have a blinker, but that's for uh, signaling where you're at in the air. Okay, I'm there. I don't like that map. Ah, uh, okay. No. Welp what, Vikings? That does not sound encouraging. Alright, there's 262. There's no dedicated graphics card then. Integrate into the CPU. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you'll have to. At least I hope not. I don't like it when people have to spend money. What the fuck are you doing? I think I uh, attracted people's attention. Oh wait, it's a MiG-9. I can outturn that. That's like not even hard. Aw, oh, he got lucky. Go up to the top for section. Scan for hardware changes. Only 200s. Are so annoying to fight in 262s. Yeah, I can imagine. Defensive flying and thunder jet is just be fast. Tap the elevator for thousands of a second away from the break off unless you're facing an LA 200 or LA 15, which could absolutely catch you soon. Yeah, that's fair.
Oh well, that that wasn't bad. The gun's definitely uh, a little bit different. Definitely faster firing. Actually, modification. Yeah, I'll definitely be installing. Eh, probably rockets. Actually, I don't know. We'll see. They're M three fifty cows. They fire incredibly fast. Yeah, that's pretty nice, honestly. Instead of your standard, you know, 50 cal. They roughly sound like that. I probably will. That's what I usually do. I usually uh, try and unlock the belts first. Damn, 250 guys. Because if I hit a curve over, yeah, it'll still do damage. But I'm not chewing through 2,000 rounds a second. That's fair enough. You just have to have trigger control. Yeah. Let me pull up. FA4s always run away from me. Yeah. That's all they can do, and that's all they do. I don't know why they didn't put the uh, F84 on the uh, F104 line. B29 is just sad. Well, I mean, yeah, when the TU4 exists, why the fuck would you ever play that? There's a reason why I'm gonna skip it. Yeah, I know there's one at 7.0. And it's really fucking good. Even at 7.0. Like, it's insane. Yeah, this thing does not do uh, verticals very well. Indeed. You are not wrong with that. Think you control. Yeah, you can't control it. Really. She knows how I'm flown to B29 is when I spawn a nuke. That's it, and I don't plan on actually playing it. I wouldn't either. you have it it's insane like insanely bad well what are you trying to find Viking exactly okay, modification. okay I'm almost done with the fuselage repair that's good. Okay. Well, here's the thing. T32. OP. 
M18 Hellcat, OP. <laughs> Which iGPU it has? Uh, it should. Well, if you just go to performance, it should say. Because it shows you the CPU, memory, disk, like your different disks, your Ethernet, your GPU. Yeah, it is. It 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 pretty much it is like it's impenetrable unless you give it your side. Then obviously it's you know. Easy as fuck. Mm. So much pain, pain to fight in a Tiger 2. Yeah, because you have limited pen. What's funny is in World of Tanks, it's not that good. The T32. Like the turret. In device manager, it's just listed Intel UHD, but you can't tell exactly which i5 it has either. Thankfully, German have uh, high explosive anti-tank. Uh, I don't remember what the FS stands for. Well, yeah, I was meaning in down tiers it is OP. Top of. You on right scratch should list a model. You should also look in GPU and see if that gives a GPU model. Yeah, fin stabilized. Okay, there we go. I couldn't remember off the top of my head, so thank you. To be honest, this thing does not handle as terrible as you guys say, or said. I've dealt with worse. <laughs> MiG-9. It is I-5, 1035G, GPU, still the same. M47 is overall much better tank. Well, yeah, it's an, an M47 is a Korean War tank. The T-32 was a end of World War II tank. Like 1946. Same with the T-29. Same with the T-30. Same with the T-34. They're all the same, pretty much. Just with different turrets and different guns. And they eventually spawned the uh, M103, which was a Korean War tank. Kind of. Was it though? Fuck that thing's fast. Megan, I think he's gonna rip his wings off if he's not careful. Alright, he's gonna start losing speed here. Well, that's why I said 1946. Ah, you got him. T-32 was developed in 45, start producing in 45, end of 46. Yeah. Why the fuck didn't he go after me? That was weird. I thought for sure he would have went after me. And another pilot knockout. That is the second out of three games I've had a bullshit pilot knockout.
Was the was the T29 ever produced or was that just a prototype? I can't remember. Pretty sure it was just a prototype. I like how it shows it fucking zero as a fuselage repair. Starts with the T, it's a prototype. Fair. Oh, there we go. Uh, guns. Isn't there something I could do to delete something in War Thunder so that it will reset itself, like textures or something? Um, you can delete it and then re-download it. Other than that, I don't know exactly. As in the whole game, yeah. The NF Falcon destroys us. Why do German teammates have to be so bad? I shoot an M103 and a Leopard 1 just stares at the other side. I don't know, man. I do really well in German... Uh, in German uh, tanks. For the most part, at least. I'll show you my stats and them. Because I'm up to 6.0. Don't you love history with derp? Maybe I should make that a new series. His history lessons with derp. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I would be terrible at that. I got the I-08 from Battle Pass and the T-3457. T-3457 is pretty good. With that, with the uh, 140 mils of pen. German and Russian mains are bad. I mean, American mains aren't much better. been helping me grind ussr pretty quickly oh so you so you don't know the true pain experience of some of the uh aircraft and tanks that you have to go through then sweden mains are the best well yeah but they're also in the best tanks and aircraft so just looking at your c2 usg g132 isolate gpu that's a gpu is not near the minimum one that gaijin recommends yeah IOA is really funny. People will either ignore you or head on you, and you can get a in a match. Yeah, that sounds about right. Sweden's props aren't good, but I heard decent things about their. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Have you heard the B three, B two three nine? I don't understand Skyrim's logic between up tiers and down tiers. There is no logic behind it. J twenty two, my beloved. Can I run it before I install it and it was working fine? I don't know. Yeah, it's just a buffalo with better guns. Those guns are fucking lethal. Come here. Come here, boy. Fuck, do I have a... Do I have a... Okay, I do have an air brake. That is quite nice.
No, this thing don't turn. <laughs> well, it doesn't turn that well. All right. Time for blistering speed. At least I hope. Go. Oh, fuck. I don't have maneuverability. Turn. You could just go up. Woo! Nah, I'm screwed. What was this SK-60 doing? I don't know. I'll take it. See, it's for us. You get less pen. The American Buffalo is 50 cows. It doesn't need the pen. Fuck, I forgot I actually have the 239. Well, I guess we can put this to the test then, eh? Well, I actually have to remember. Hold on. I have to remember which is which. Okay, it's this one. No, not Air Arcade. There we go. Well, let's put this to the test. When you get to top tier, the gripping is insane. Nah. And when he means when, it's because I, it's because I'm not there yet. Okay. So this is a completely stock B two three nine. I guarantee you I get at least a kill. Come in the F-16 situation. Well, I mean, yeah, but... That's kind of how the world is now with most aircraft. the British one I love it mm. a lot of my air nations are all at that low jet high prop when you're flying against 2.0 players you can get kills flying a door in the 17 as a fighter yeah And? Dude, I got... I got kills... Um, in... Fuck, what was it? The 1.7... Uh, SPD Dauntless, the British version. I would... Literally, just go bomb a base with my 1,000-pound bomb and then go and kill everyone. That is true, Clocka. You do get a lot of seal clubbers. Do, 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 do. So two point or like twelve point seven. Yeah, except they're usually not starting a new nation. They're usually just seal clubbing. 
It's usually the latter. This will be funny when I'm finally level 100 and then I can't complain anymore. Alright, he's not going for me right now. Come on. Come on. Yeah, it looks like you got our base. Not that that's very surprising. My friend usually gets annoyed when there's level 70s or something like that in our game, but then we ignore the fact I'm a level 65. Exactly. I mean, a person I played with uh, two days ago was a level 100. Just after me shitting on a level 100. For having no skill. So I guess it just really matters on perspective, I would say. What the fuck's this BF-110 doing? Oh, okay. Well, this ain't gonna take much. Goodbye. I just blew off blew off all my speed for no reason there. You know what else is that 2.7 P39N the 4U1A and the A36. Yeah. A36 um has still got my best result to date. I got 8 kills. <laughs> yeah. The clock effect. The uh, clock effect. Hi, P40. Guess what? Are you fucking kidding me? I just got American. Here, at least you can be set on fire. No, I guess not. Uh, you can't take the American out of some aircraft. Fuck, is he still flying? That makes no goddamn sense. Gear damaged? Uh, I don't have gear. Oh, I'm gonna crash into this house. Can you just crash already? Thank you. American bias is real. What the fuck? What the hell did he run into? Hey, what's up, Malty? American bias is real. Nah. There isn't, there isn't really much American bias, let's be honest. A36 is really damn good. So many people think it's garbage. Yeah. It's an Allison Mustang that's just been stretched. How are y'all? I'm good. How about you? That IL just disintegrate in the air. Love accurate Russian gameplay. Yes. It'll disintegrate from nothing and then you shoot it 10 million times and it'll just still be flying. Completely black everything and it'll just be like, eh. Whatever. I'm fine. Just fine. That's fair. Huh. <sighs> I'm glad that you guys have uh, stuck around, because usually the regulars uh, 
are the only ones that like to chat or anything. Just fine. Yeah, that's fair enough. So yeah, thank you guys for uh, sticking around and everything. So now some Mustang with a supercharger removed and adds a few pounds of armor strapped on. No one cares about the supercharger. Exactly. I'm in school right now again. Ah. Well, that would explain it. School sucks. No gain around that. At the moment, you're going for the Capard. I see. I downloaded World of Warships Legends. Eh, don't do school, kids. Do games. True that. Otherwise, you end up in crippling debt and a degree that you're going to use nothing. Imagine no line. Yes, I'm asking. Wait, so you're doing Dutch? Are you in the Dutch cruisers? I think that's so much damage. I just, <laughs> I just love this map. I'm just imagining the rage guy with the happy, the smiling mask on top of him. Yeah, 836 with 174 more horsepower than the Cannon Mustang. Well, yeah, but it's a lot heavier too. So it balances out. Oh, the German. Oh, I got you. What the hell is this plane? What, this? This is the F-84. This is the Thunderstreak. Or no, Thunderjet. Thunderstreak's the sweat wing version. Yeah, I'm more of a MIG guy. Ah. So, you like hitting absolutely nothing with your guns. Yeah, that's fair, Patser. <sighs> I, I found it hilarious. That thing. Currently researching the MIG-15. Does that mean you're stuck with the MIG-9? If so, I am so sorry. MiG-15, nice. MiG-9, nice ass. <laughs> yes, it is. Don't worry, the guns are only the exact same. And when I mean the exact same, I mean the exact fucking same. Oh. He just disintegrated. <laughs> the guns are playing this shit. The guns are not fine. No. I'm about to go into a match with the P51, the cannon one. Okay. Have fun with that. Meanwhile, I'm going to give up chase on that pile of shit. Go after this pile. Probably will. I love Mustangs. I'm alright with Mustangs. They're not my favorite. I'm more of a Spitfire kind of guy. If you're giving me a choice, I would say. Have fun keeping up with me, TA. Yeah, you're just gonna miss. Bye bye. Make sure not. Well, yeah, it j everything about the plane sucks. Like, there is nothing enjoyable about that aircraft, I find. It's just a crap aircraft stacked with crap guns. Oh, 
Oh, oh okay. Because 20 isn't enough to shred. No, it's plenty enough. It's just it doesn't hit anything. At least not accurately. Oh dear. Yeah, this thing's kind of broken at 7.0 when you're in a down tier. Uh, the MiG-15, it's a, it's, it is a massive improvement, but you're improving off of a massive pile of dog shit. So it's, it's, it is much better. I will say that. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I, uh, I love playing the F7 up as anti-cast and ground battles. I'm not a big fan of it in air, though. Yeah, it doesn't turn very well. I got the hunter so I can grind rank 5 without suffering. Fair. So I, from hella shit to... I wouldn't say it's shit, it's mediocre. It's mediocre. Uh, at least at its current battle rating. At 8.0 it might do fine. But it... But... As of right now... You're... God damn. It's going to be 8.3. No, it's going to be 8.0 now. <laughs> Your left wing. Yeah, my left wing kind of gone. I think there should be a max amount of times you can get fully up tiered in a certain amount of battles. Yeah, that'd be nice. They will never do that, though. Ooh, a battle trophy. What will I not get? Yay. Get a fucking M3 Lee. Where even the fuck it? Yes, I obviously want the British Grant One. Yeah, that thing's dog shit. You got a hole in your right wing. You got a hole in your left wing. I love being up tier to 9.0. Oh, you'll love it even more when you get up tier to 9.3. No. You can never convince me that, that the M3 Lee is good. No. What's up, monkey dude? Monkey. Monkey, monkey, monkey. Oh, yeah, 9.3 is when you get F-104s and SU-7s. The missiles will greet me. Y yeah, they will. They will greet you, and you will not like it. But you will be forced to like it at the same time. Never played missile jets. I've I haven't played... Any tech tree missile jets yet? Seventy foot. I've only works up to four point zero, and the thirty seven doesn't suck. The armor works at that bell range, and the speed wheel not the best is not the worst. I don't know. I just have come from World of Tanks, and both of them were awful. Grinding will be ass. Yeah. But it, I will say though, the with the Mig. 15 it will be easier to aim those guns it's just still the guns don't really work it's not till the mig 17 where you're just you're super maneuverable to where you can actually get the guns to sort of work rakit raken auto automat is funny what even is that the biggest problem with american tanks is you have 
uncapped solid AP as your stock round. Yeah, and they're 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 garbage. They're probably the worst round, at least stock. It's an uh, 8.0 German tank destroyer. Do you know the Ush? No. Not off the top of my head, no. Well, yeah, I really want Why? That thing's a pile of dog... Well, at least it was a pile of dog shit in real life. Is the MiG-21 any good? I don't know. I'm only at the 17. So I'm not really qualified for that. The only thing I can think of a worse grind than American tanks are the 4.0 PK KVS, which are basically M10s but with APHE as their tier 4 modification instead of tier 1. Oof. That's shit. That sounds like a whole lot of bouncing. And then, because you're an M10, you just blow up anytime someone vaguely shoots near you. Because, as we know, it has no armor. I mean, yeah. Nah, fuck it. I'm not going after it. Someone else can have fun with them. It still has good pen, it's just the damage that's non-existent. Well, yeah, because it doesn't have any HE filler. So it's not going to do anything. Even if it does pen, it just creates a hole. After this battle, I'm going to have to uh, go grab another drink. Sounds like he's got the 30s. I bounced an IS-2 round in AMX-13. Yeah. AMX-13s are low-key OP. For whatever reason. Yeah, I'm trying. Why do I die to so many MiG-9s in this damn thing? That's so weird. Now I need to stop getting into... Attack the D-point. Yeah. I need to uh, stop getting into turn fights with it. Definitely. All right, finally got that. All right, unguided. Probably air for it. Ah, compressor, which gives me compressor, definitely. And then boosters next. All right, I'll play one more and then go grab a drink. A drinky doink. Mm -hmm. City. 
Yay. Oh, fuck. Ah, fuck, I forgot to get the rockets, oh well. Then again, it wouldn't have really mattered, because I'm, you know, spawned late, so. Where the hell is he going? <sighs> Oh, yeah, I wonder why um, this map is not used for uh, ground battle. At least I don't think it is. I could be wrong, but... But I don't think it is. Unless this is right here. I don't think it is, though. Also, this is the same guy that was complaining about the matchmaking like two games ago. If you don't like the matchmaking, stop playing this battle rating. I know much more... I know much worse. Uh, I got... Oh, nice. Fuck's sake. Okay, he can't catch me. Thank God. Grant, I'll most likely not use it. <laughs> okay. That was some lag right there. Alright. Finally turned to disengage, so... Damn it. Be right back on mute the stream for a little. Gotcha, gotcha. No problem. Great, I got nothing out of it. Uh, well, I'm going to at least secure something before this game ends. Of course, these are Yak 38s, though, so they're going to be almost impossible to catch. Until they dive, at least.
Yeah, no, even with the Labossiak 38s outrun you, yeah. That's why I meant until they start diving, that's gonna. Unfortunately, be how it's gonna be. You don't, you don't catch them. Mm. When they pull up, you catch them. When you, when they pull, you can catch them for like 10 seconds. Yeah. I know. Damn it. Just ran out of airspeed. Which means you barely, gotta get really close when they pull up. Yeah. Don't worry, I have plenty of practice with it, with my, uh, MiG-9. I don't know why that's not considered a uh, critical. Never understood that. And it's not going to count because he just flies around until his engine dies. <sighs> well, that was a waste of time, unfortunately. Alright, getting close to the Banshee. Alright. I forget how much was it. It's pretty much the same if I recall. Yeah, 240.68. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright. I will be right back. Ugh, give me like max five minutes. So.
Oh, all right. I am back. Oh. All right. So yeah, it looks like the main problem probably gonna have is not research. I can finally research the mouse guided anti tank guided missile on the BMP one. Oh god. <laughs> You're about to annoy the shit out of a lot of people. The WASD guided one. I can't imagine trying to do that. That would suck. Oh shit, it's down tier. Massive down tier, actually. It does suck. I'm less than 100k away from the Capard. Solid. What rank is the Capard again? I can't remember. Can't wait to do some burr. Yeah. I mean, you'd definitely be doing that, so. Battle rating, I meant. Well, if it's rank 6, it can only be a, a few... Eight point three, gotcha, gotcha. Are you prepared to see how bad my aim with rockets are? So I can put it on my 8.0 lineup. Yeah, you definitely could. <laughs> that barely did jack shit. Oh well. Oh, do you really want this smoke, TA-152? I think you're going to get this smoke regardless. Bye bye. TA152 OP, to be honest. Hell no. What the fuck? <laughs> I always forget that they have Gatling guns on the uh, Sky Raiders, so it scares the hell out of me when I hear it. But yeah, the uh, the first TA-152 I thoroughly don't enjoy playing. The TA player ain't isn't too bright. Not really. To be fair, though, has he really had anything that else to chase? Well, that was unlucky. Kind of for both of us, if I'm honest. Okay, he's done. Let's just get down below his guns. Nope. Yeah, okay. MX-13 is good, but I keep 
going against her super heavies, which I can't do anything against. Fair enough. His aim was dog shit. Yeah, I should have been dead. To be fair, my aim was pretty dog shit too there. Alright, let's see if I can do... Bruh. I need to get used to how this damn thing aims. Oh. Uh, part of my fuselage is missing. <laughs> Sir, I think I have a hole. You're dead, I think. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I'm not dead, because my engine's fine. Nothing in the engine got hit. I just have no, uh streamline at all or aerodynamics so I play a match in the cannon stang it was 66 I got four kills I mean congrats but it was a 6v6 that's not too difficult I mean I was I think in an 8v8 in the Dornier 335 and I killed five of them within three minutes of the match beginning. So there wasn't even an enemy team left. Well, I'm going to go to short ground targets, being I have no airspeed anymore. Like, god damn. <laughs> This means my teammates got to combine two kills. Yeah, I know. Ah, uh, okay. Fair. Ugh. Still, I... Have you seen a hole that big? <laughs> in a plane that is still flying just fine. Like, I have seen a hole that big before, but usually my... I'm usually crippled when I try to, uh, fly. I need to get used to the shell trajectory of this. Which is much different. Oh, okay. I guess it's not that rare. Oh, one time in the ground, but I got a hole blown in my wingtip fuel tank of my Thunder Jet. You see through the entire tank from one side, there was no hole. Huh. That's impressive. Yeah, this thing uh, does not turn particularly well, and it doesn't like going vertical. It's fine with pulling up, though. Pulling up, it actually seems all right at. Once flew without a wing, a stabilizer, and a hole in my fuel tank to the airfield and ground bowels. Um, in my MiG-15, I flew with, like, 10% of one wing. And managed to land it. Ow. Fuck you. And a J-22 B, I managed to land without control of either arrow on half of my wings was chopped off. So basically you were just a missile. <laughs> or a rocket. Alright, I think I'm gonna go try and land. Still a tail control, just not aileron. Ah, uh, okay. 
So were you swaying a lot then? Hey, what's up, Pepper? You have people to talk to. Not really, surprisingly. Funnily enough, in the same match, watching Aircrow rug get blown up by artillery. Yeah, that's about right. I'm in the school bathroom. I got 12 minutes left. Ah. Uh, TMI, let's be honest here. I can't even pen the sides. Oh. Well, that sucks. Somebody attack him. I'm doing decent. Need emotional support while playing Germany. Oof. KV1s are something else. Uh, yeah, Patzer, you should see the video that I posted of when I was in my Stur Emil against a KV-1. You want to talk about something. Perfect. Tis but a scratch. German Germany tanks are ass in Guan. Yes, sir. Hey, what's up, Chuck Norris? It's good to have a little Norris in the action. Tanks good. Oh, fuck, no. Oh, I'm rank 5. Sorry. I thought you meant rank 1. No, they're not. They're shit. Got the game back, by the way, team. Master, so we can play whenever you want. Okay. Good to know. I am Chuck Norris. Are you, though? Wait, what? It doesn't even make me take off. That's funny. May I join? Uh, sure, Allie. Good to know, Chuck Norris. I don't know why I have an air spawn. I'm not complaining. Can I also join? Sure. Yeah, last time I checked, we still had to take off. I mean, even bombers still have to take off, most part. Yeah, I don't know why this thing gets an air spawn. Yeah, I'll invite you to, uh... After this battle. Yeah, it is weird, definitely. Air. E -y -y. E -y. Engaging the enemy. Are you only playing air today? Well, I mean, I'm pretty much just doing, uh, the American low tier jets, see if I can progress a bit. All I am versus this IS4, MIS3, T54, Yak Tiger's mouse. Yep, that sounds about right. That Polish friend I was talking about, 
using the TU-4 as a gumbo, also likes using the HVRs as anti-rockets. Gotcha. That's interesting. What's your highest bow rating in Tonks 6.0? I'm going to stay up even though I have a big fucking week next week and I absolutely need to sleep. What you got going on? I got him, so. Tanks up to 8.3 M60 A1 AOS is incredible. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, it's not fun when anyone gets hurt. And the ADFC, so I volunteered to be part of the ANSAC parade six days from now, and now I gotta wake up at 3.30 a.m. to be at base the day before. Oof. That sucks. I mean, that's a good call. It's a good thing, but also... Waking up that early sucks ass. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Hundred pound bombs. Ugh. Literally does nothing. All right. Let's finish that. There we go. Fighting is pain. <laughs> My username is I'm a skill issue. I'm pretty sure I have you added. Yes, I do. Alright. Uh, who's the other person I have to invite? What's your highest bell raking aircraft? <laughs> oh! I promise I didn't do anything. I have to wake up even early for Anzac Day. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, my highest tech tree is 9.0. The highest I have is 11.0. With the Jag. German, I'm ass, so I don't know the American late tank weak spots. But I text my bestie for a bit, and she fixed some of the mental sadness of waking up early. Fair enough. Fair enough. 11.0 premium? No, it's the Jag IS. Want to just go for the turret? Find the fast part of the turret you can find. Fair. Uh, I haven't heard anything from Allie in a little bit, so. Or the big ass Capola. Uh, yeah, the M60s. Yeah. M60s are pain. This is 12.0 air and 11.3 ground. Gotcha. I am not, no. I love the kind of woman that can kick my ass. No, I'm not in Discord call right now. W map battle for Vietnam. You just heard a Cowboy Bebop quote. Oh, hey, some Shriekers. Got lucky with 9.3 ground. Nice. What, Nate? Oh. Asking him. 
Oh god, not this shit again. Gonna do some carding on sand. Ooh, carding, that's nice. Ten point three air US F five C type seventy four G around Japan nine point three. Gotcha. Mine is the Jaguar IS eleven point oh and the Tiger Oh fuck. It's not the H one. It's the second one. The Tiger E six point oh. Gambling gave me it. Damn, I paid sixty dollars for mine, and I regret that decision, bro. A fucking turbo prop or a prop jet is catching up to me. Yeah, for 1k, that's a win. Yeah. I opened only one crate. Fuck you. Lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, I literally get dog shit anytime I do it. Bruh, did I seriously just hit him with that? No way. <laughs> this insanely powerful engine at low speeds has incredible energy generation. It's the fastest prop in the game. Yep. <laughs> Got the French 155 howitzer from the Dragon Box. So you got the Lorraine. Well, that was some physics. Fuck that dragon out rigged as fuck. Yes, it was. That's 25 second reload and the MG151 on the top. Yeah, that's not broken at all. Oh, well, Chuck Norris is still alive. You should play a controller one stream. Fuck no. I want to actually be able to kill something. There's many things I can do with a controller. Play this game is not one of them.
mate got to 9.0 in ground ball. Fun fact, took him three years. Oof. Well, I'm not saying people can't do good on controllers. I'm just not one of them. I cannot do it. Oh, that would have been so cool if you managed that. You got all kills by camping. It's a bit hard. Yeah. I'm aware. I tried doing it a long time ago. Play on controller for like six years, but we can all agree. War Thunder is a keyboard mouse game. Actually, it's technically a joystick game. Because that's what it's best at. Well, that sucked. If you think it's hard, you just have a skill issue. It is hard. I'm not going to pretend it's not. <laughs> Immediately switches to BMP. Oh god, not the fox. Really? Huh. I remember somehow I reversed the track and using an F3H. Damn. I don't know how you manage that. You must have gotten really lucky. I can use the fact I play control as a reason for skill issue. Hilarious. It would it would have uh, it would have been when the dragon didn't have tracers, probably. Yeah, that would make sense. With that, at least. Same reason I make over kind of somewhat reliably for the first pass when I'm in the thunder streak. Mm. Bruh. Stop saying skill issue. Your skill issue for not being able to play. Key on keyboard and mouse. What? Where'd that come from? Peoples aren't good, and if you look where the plane is going, you can move out of the way before they can react, even if their plane turns miles better. Yeah. Got killed by hitting, hitting my engine. That's interesting. Did you, like, catch fire?
Hmm. Oh god, please don't let that be a TU4. Fuck. Well, we're we're asking like what what that comment was for exactly. Yep. Not not bothering. Yep, you have fun. Remember killing two TU fours in a single ground battle with the A five seven. Okay, ground battle is different. Because they can't see you. Honestly, I find it much easier to kill things in the air. On ground battle. Like, so much easier. Roger that. Bro, you're so fucked. The jet doesn't have good acceleration. Stop saying that. He is learning when he freaks out. It's easy. So don't say skill issue. What? What the fuck are you talking about, Giga? Not oh, great. And it somehow gave him the kill and it crashed. I love that. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, he wasn't even talking about me, Giga. I'm too weight. <laughs> okay. Now oh, there we go. And ground battle, the J22 is actually usable. Well, I have kind of mastered on the bows. We're I I cannot do controller on this game. It just, I just it just doesn't work for me. It doesn't drive. I'm not saying it's because I have a skill issue or anything. It's just can't do it. I love fighting tanks I can't pen. Well, that's because you're just facing super heavy tanks. But yeah, um, Wargloring, what's up? Well, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you weren't insulting, because that would have been bad. Can't pen a T10 with a Leopard 1? You should be able to. I play some chore at school. Mouse and keyboard. Nothing much you. Uh, basically the same, just casually enjoying uh, rank 5 American jets. They're actually not that painful. Which is nice. Considering my first experience with low tier jets was Russia, and they're awful. Heat fence stabilized leper one. Hmm. Yeah, SU elevens are kind of busted at this ranking, but I would say that's more because they're um You know, premiums. Not <laughs> fuck off, premium.
Look at that tanks I'd rather control her. This heat fit silly is working on the M4. Yep, yeah, I don't know. I haven't gotten that high. DM12 can pen a T20 anywhere. And tell me about it. I bounce KV1s with the 12.8 uh, cannon, German cannon. Got 248 mils of pen. Bounce. Didn't even hit anything. It just bounced. Can I get an invite? Sure. What's your username? Dodo. Oh, shit. Number 13. Gonna guess it's this one. Being that one's literally as level zero. Well, we're basically guaranteeing us against Russian aircraft with this. Yeah, you just, it just has, you have to be in a 7.0. Well, you also have to be online. have to be 7.0 yeah pretty much because if you're six seven you're probably going to go against a seven seven i mean 260 is anti rockets go brrr. yeah i'm still waiting to get the uh bigger rocket or just more rockets There we go. Oops. I remember killing an ME two sixteen with an eighty four in there. Ballistic by ramming Tiny Tim's at the ground. Yeah, I've uh, I managed to hit something with a Tiny Tim with the uh, VB or no, it was the Firebrand. That was funny. Something of playing the Q10, getting God mode, have done it before. You gotta go head on. Well, yeah, obviously. Got an ace in an air battle with ME262. That, bro, I've that 50 millimeter uh, funny gun is hilarious. And yes, I know, Giga. But why burn all your speed now? I wasn't expecting to get an ace like I was dogfighting Corsairs and I fucking won. Those Corsair, yeah, those Corsairs must have been really shit.
really. Direct hit didn't do anything. <sighs> love, love War Thunder. do a fucking head on because I'm not going to outrun them now. Why does it keep doing that? He did not shoot me down. Fuck you, game. Yeah, that's about the most angry I'll get. Streams chill, indeed. Oh, it's better and smacked him with a 50 millimeter high explosive. Yeah. That would do some uh, mega damage. Oh, hey, you got balanced by a TU4. Are we all dead? No. and the FA-4 are just both fire jets. But this game incorrectly classifies as strike aircraft. Yep. Though the F-3D really does kind of need it. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, that is true. Okay. I mean, I'm dead, so... I'm just waiting around. It does get quad 20s with good ammo. Yeah, that'd be quite nice. That's quite, quite lethal. I don't know if landing like that's going to be ideal. Hole in the right wings, Hans. Yeah, I think he noticed. Erica intensifies in the background. Wall. Big issue with Ryan is the counter striking both bombs drop at the same time. Hmm. That would suck if they're both really big bombs. What happened?
I hate this battle rating range. Well, what happened? Uh, skill issue. Or Chuck Norris, whichever you want to call be called. You can have Tiny Tim's 500,000, 2,000, yeah. Died to a Russian. Mm. Was it the LA 200? Yeah, LA 200 with its massive engine that turns way too well. Hmm. I've never really had issues with LA 200s other than they just run away from everything. Okay, that's fine. Just as long as you don't put us into it. That 42 for though he got away. But then got murdered by my rockets. I don't feel bad. He plays a TU4. I don't feel bad at all. I haven't had issues turning with my LA 200s. It's just that they outrun and outclimb everything I have. Yeah. But don't worry. When they get up tiered, they're garbage. And I mean garbage. Oh, we got... You got this. Hey, LWIF, how are you? Oops. Oops, shit. <laughs> Fucking stupid War Thunder camera. There. You're only against seven enemies. You remember me? I, re I remember seeing you, yeah. I'm usually good with uh, seeing people that I've seen before. Usually. I'm Nate Higgers. Ah. You're him. I'm sure your Mach 108s won't get screwed when they're with their terrible muzzle velocity. I'm sure it's fine. When would that ever happen? Never. They're impeccable. What do you mean? Top of the class. Oh look, you shot your tail off. Why? Russian. Well, Russian. Russian premium at that. I did a Cobra and me empty. <laughs> yeah, but not by, uh, not by choice. That is for sure. I know. I was doing it before you even asked. But look, here's this ugly motherfucking thing. God, it's so ugly. Alright. Widowmaker, oh god, it's 6.30 a.m. Yes, it is. It is indeed 6.30 a.m.
It's 12.26 for me in the day. So you're UK? Or no, that's an hour. That would be 11. I love the kind of woman that can kick my ass. That's always fun. Yeah, at least you did kill the SU-4, which is something. Something I can't relate to. I think I've only killed one of them before. I watched Cowboy Beepo with my dad and brothers. What'd you think? I liked it. Yeah, it it's a banger. That you are using a booster. The snail is watching you. And they screw me anyways. Now I can actually go for a base and do some damage. Not a lot, but some. Last time I used a big booster, it's a 500 for both SL and RP. I got nine kills. I didn't die once. Naval. Yeah, you probably made a uh, pretty penny there. Yeah, this map's fine. There's worse maps. I honestly do not mind this map at all. Compared to something. Some other things. Almost 500,000. I didn't have a premium account or a premium vehicle. Damn. I can only imagine doing that in my Japanese F4 Corsair. Already killed the Chinese F 84s. So that's something. Yeah, that's what usually happens. Also leveled up to level 75, gave me another 500k for the achievement. Damn, it gives you SL for that? I haven't, I haven't gotten shit. You basically got a million SL for doing good. That's lucky. Did I? I don't remember that. Mm 
Really? Nine? Okay, I was about to say, it gave me nine for that. That's bull. Yeah, I wish I could get a million a match. That would make grinding for vehicles a lot easier. Swiggity swooty, I'm coming for that booty. It was one time thing, oh man, I haven't got more than 100k without boosters before. I don't even think I've gotten 100k before. No, I've gotten it once, and that was with the uh, A36. That was it, though. That's the only time. Okay. You want to do this? That is perfectly fine with me. Even that time I dropped a nuke. Yes, <laughs> nuke and 69k. Man, what a result. Yeah, I think I got 100k for the uh, 836 game. That was it, though. Oh, yay, SU. Have you ever dropped a nuke derp? Nope, I haven't even gotten close. Oh, shit. Huh. Why not try my luck again? I'm probably going to lose this time. Nice try. Please miss. Fuck. Oh, I'm out. I have no clue. Bro, how is our B-29 still alive? I think I'm going to go back to ground. Okay. Nah. That is fine. Probably got enough spawn points for a nuke in one match with the bait. 760 didn't check to see though. Mm. You just didn't die. I think the closest I've gotten is like 300 points away or something. One cat four says eight ground kills zero deaths. That would get you close, I'm pretty sure. Everyone duck. As M48's APHE is killer towards M60 Capolas. 
anything towards an M60 could pull it as a death sentence. Let's be honest here. Four thousand ninety one square, yeah, that should get you there. Without a death. Solid shot is not no. That is fair. I was mean anything else. Yeah, Giga, I think you're screwed. Unless that Meteor's engine gives up. Solid shot is just garbage, indeed. Um, yeah, that's... You are very fucking lucky. Touch gadget doesn't copper in that big ass metal slug would do some more damage to the vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> you would think so. But it doesn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> three holes, three inches in diameter and chest. He could have no chest. In fact, he could just be a head and he would still be alive. <laughs> slight, slight chest ache. In Soviet Russia, you don't, you don't have chest. What do you mean military uniforms aren't meant to stay up direct hits from 3 inch anti-tank cannons? In Soviet Russia, you are not Soviet Russia. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Engine. There we go. You are the Soviet Russia. You are a Soviet comrade. You don't even have. You don't even have you as your own by the state. Yes. You are. You are one with the communist regime. You are one with Soviet Russia. We fall, you fall. We die, you die. Hashtag, <laughs> exclamation park follow what mm -hmm. Russian tank commanders take a bear for morning walk routine yeah the f4u the f4u4b is really fun to play in ground battles you can have those instant one tap cannons decent flight performance you can slap any planes you want out of the air and you know skip bombs yeah uh, American CAS is possibly the most toxic thing in this game currently It is so bad to go against it. Pol Polish had a bear fight for them in World War II. Oh. I mean, the Dornier 335 exists. Yeah, the XP-50 exists too. What's your point? <laughs> the XP-50 is worse. Bow rating to bow rating. The 335 is just cancer for bombers. The XP-50 is just flat-out cancer. So is the Wyvern.
Hey, Derby, I said I took a BT7 and a 5.7 kill a Tiger 2. I don't know how you manage that. Weasel is such a goofy little fella. We don't talk about the weasel. How about the fox? You want to talk about something that's broken. How about the fox? Nice try. Bruh, lost control from that. Has a funny anti-guided missile, yeah. It's as small as my hand. Interesting. Oh, finally not getting chased by something. This thing doesn't turn left very well right now. Small as my hand. I cannot tell for the life of me what the fuck is shooting at me. Goodbye. So, fair fight, a T-55 and a M-48. I don't know how fair that is. I mean, that is certainly a fight, though. <sighs> Fuck those meteors. That hurt like hell. Interesting. You can kill a T-55 with an M48. Yeah. Has the pen to do it. You have to hit his hole, but... You should be able to do it. Yeah, uh, this this thing's definitely been healthier. That's for sure. If you use APHE, you have to be side on. If you have heat, you can just ignore his armor entirely. I mean, that just sounds... Yeah, that sounds pretty accurate. Sounds like World of Tanks. Load the gold, ignore everyone's armor. Because what the fuck is armor? Yeah, my engine's crippled. I can't really help you. Somebody Couldn't really see him. And didn't have heat. Ah, fence. Stabilizer.
Well, I mean, I don't really have a choice. Well, if they have a drop on you, it doesn't really matter what tank they're in, does it? Yeah. So other people's hash can go through walls. Yeah. I love how my shells can't even go through a uh, fence. What the fuck now? Okay, so mine had an air spawn and now mine doesn't have an air spawn. That is so weird. Solid shot. Someone gets eaten by wire fence and heat somehow going through 8p of dirt. Yeah, the AMX 13 should be 5.7 when it gets fully up tiered. It'll be at its correct bow rating. I guess I can agree to that. Is it not? Oh, that looks fun to fl fly. Well, it's not so fun now. happened to me a couple of times here in the past week. And I was in prop planes going a lot slower. I think if you would have gone a little bit slower, it might not have blown you up. Use the airframe of the Supermarine Spiteful, right? You mean the Spitfire? No, I mean the Spiteful. I don't know. I've never heard of the Spiteful. Can I please get one good map? No. You will continue to get dog shit maps. Ah, I see. Yeah, huh. I wonder why it didn't go anywhere. Hmm. And we're going to lose because they let that TU2 drop. <sighs> nope, never mind. We got the, we got it the last second. Alaska is fine, I guess. I find Alaska kind of bad. It, it just favors people that have the OP bushes. You know, the ones that pay for bushes. And that pisses me off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you want to use a Spitfire, that is perfectly fine. What is my highest? I think it's the 5 set. Yeah, it's 5.7. P-51H was made during World War II. Didn't see service. It also didn't see service during Korea because the USA force had more D mustings and wanted to simplify logistics. Didn't they turn it into the K? If I remember right. I usually just go into the water and rush their spawn. Mm. I don't know. Because people in fucking OP cars just YOLO around and just start spawn camping until they die. So, I mean, 
I'm not surprised. Derby hood about the Vile Pass vehicles. Yep. It was a BMP3 and not even two minutes into the match. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Is he a level 100 by any chance? starting to get light out a little bit <laughs> does he have 20 bushes by any chance yeah <laughs> fuck up tears man yeah that's why i don't like ground half the time because it's nothing but up tears and honestly, up tiers in tanks is much worse than up tiers in aircraft. Aircraft, you can at least, you know, do something occasionally. Up, up tiers in tanks, no. He's hiding behind a fucking rock. Yep. Is he a level one hundred though? That's that's the best. That's the biggest question. I got killed in a KV-1 by a T-14. The worst, he's full of bushes from top to bottom. Well, I mean, yeah. Were you side-scraping in the KV-1? Side-scrape, you can't do shit. Ha, <laughs> yep. Not surprised. found the opposite to be true. I find it significantly easier to kill better tanks and tanks and better planes and planes. Well, I guess. The problem with tanks, though, is it all that matters is penetration. I killed him in a weasel. Good. Oh, hey. Neat. Hello, Mr. 262. Mind if I drop in? pen matters but so is post pen damage well yeah but i mean if you can't pen him then what's what's the point if you can't pen him then there's no point in doing anything oh for fuck's sake and he's got the funny gun I don't like turning. Guess who overshot? Guide on me. Okay, I guess. Technically, I still did. Oh, he shouldn't hit this. 
And he somehow hit me. Okay. Yes, I'm seriously in dire need of help. Thank God, thank you. My heat FS don't do shit in a warrior. Yep. Well, now I have no speed. Stop shooting holes in my wings. This is literally my new top speed, and I'm not even joking. The fact that I'm still alive amazes me. Ah, there we go. That was decent and a half. Yeah, tell me. <laughs> yeah. problem I have I'm having I'm in a light tank with only AP and only getting fully up to the bow ring well that kind you kind of just answered your own problem why are you struggling so bad well because of that people are left quite a few actually well I can't fix it I'm gonna embrace the brace the fucking rat life how's that how are you gonna embrace that I'm gonna play the weasel. Oh. <laughs> You're in Sansa Senai. Good luck with that. Why would you play a T32 when T54 exists? Because uh, you're grinding up two different tech tree lines.
Can I join? Sure. Just spice the turbo reload T32 and T32 E1. Yeah. Try and get one of his engines. Well, he nuked his engines anyways, so. Yeah. They still haven't fixed no engine sounds. Yeah, I've had that issue a couple times. Bye bye, Radiator. Yeah. Seven point oh, yep. It is indeed seven point oh. Excuse me. All right, hopefully the uh, matchmaking doesn't hit us too much here. It shouldn't, but I mean, it is Gaijin. Snail's matchmaking does hate a lot of shit, so. Why bring HVAR? Hit shit. And if I have, and if things get serious, then I just fire them off and then I'm fine.
fucking bush up foxes. Yep. They are broken as fuck. Let's make a 30 millimeter auto load. Or is it? Is that a 30 millimeter? I don't know. It's an auto loader that goes 95 kilometers an hour. In USA ground battle M18 GMC is hella funny. You should grind it. It's quick and it's rat. Yes, I know. I've faced them. I know. They're annoying as fuck. It needs to be at like 8.7. Yeah. And they won't, so. Okay. Yeah, 250 pound bombs, that's even worse. What? New Strike Masters. Alright, we got another uh, down tier. Attention to the designated grid square. I got shot from like 2.5 kilometers from their spawn and it spawned by a T90. Oof. So he just aimed. <laughs> And somehow I hit you. Well, that sucks. He knew my range immediately. Oof. Why are you responding to that, Giga? Who the hell tried to shoot out of 262? Let me somehow fuck that up. I'm gonna bomb him. Okay. Have fun with that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I hope this isn't a 288, but it's probably a 288, let's be honest. How am I. There's so many Panther 2s that aren't even in the game anymore. I don't know. I cannot answer that for you. Seriously, fuck off. Now I'm just slower. Yep, he's going down finally.
Oh dear. You have a few holes in your nose. Well, that would be a dead F-80. Nice. All right, well, that's two TA one five twos out. Oh, I forgot the FAA use the box two fifty cal. Yeah, so they fire slow as fuck. <sighs> All right, he's down. I don't think there's anyone else really. Le oh, there's one person left. Yeah, the F-80 gets the Mach 2s, the uh, F-84 gets the Mach 3s. Is he now? Why, well, I don't even see him. Well, considering he's no longer in the game... Yeah. You know, I've actually won a game with an AFK aircraft before. Bro, just... Just JL. Not you. <laughs> what? Oh, sorry, uh, clock. I didn't see that. It apparently doesn't like you saying sucker.
Uh huh. How'd that go? Just surviving an anti tank guided missile. Jesus. Well, that's a interesting way to go. Well, the amount of T-72 and Algec 279s are murdered in my Capard and occasional anti-tank game missiles is just tanks. Yeah. Why do you murder? Oh, yeah, you're murdering the Capard. Capard's not OP at all. part is broken. Yep. It definitely is. I'm not watching it now. Message me. Now oh, ten point three, maybe I don't have ten point three. You can go play ten point three. I'm not about to play my F5, that's for sure. With Jaguar Jet, that's 11.0. And the thing sucks. F5 the goat? No, it's not. It is not the goat. Finally a match. Don't have the tiny Thames. Depends on people's play styles. Yeah, I, I don't like it. It, to me, I can't get it to dogfight because you just have people with missiles. They don't care that you don't have missiles. They don't care that you try and get it into a dogfight. 
They'll just lock on their missiles and clap you. <sighs> That's their whole goal. That's why they invent flare. Well, what if flares do jack shit? Mm -hmm. What the fuck kind of name is that? <laughs> Goodbye. Have fun. All right. See you, Clocka. Thanks for uh, the follow and hanging out. Hope you have a good rest of your day. If I hit one of his bombs and it blew him up. Attention to the designated grid zone. Destroy the target. I don't think he's going to listen.
Well, he burnt you to a crisp. Didn't need to put that in all chat. Can't tell what that is. Oh, excellent. Not him. Nope. Not him. Not him. Well, I guess he's the closest. I don't think this guy is the most intelligent person in the world. Just saying. Alright, almost got the Tiny Tims. I've had it with War Thunder for today. Okay. See you, man. I'm probably getting off soon as well. Probably play two, like, two more battles. This will be the first of two. Mm -hmm. 
Do you own Battle Bit? No, I do not. Call from Gabies. Yay. I don't particularly like this map, but eh, whatever. Attention to the map. Pretty good matchmaking as well. complaining. Oh, fuck off with that shit. He didn't even hit me. Thank you for the rain plan. I don't know why that double did that, but yeah, how'd your stream go? Nice, nice. We'll be starting up again shortly, just having dinner. Ah, okay, so you didn't want to go on break or something? That's fair, I suppose. I'll share the love to you. Okay, okay. I'm probably not going to be on too much longer. So if you start up again before I end, I can probably just raid you back. Well, that's going to be a very uh, unhappy A1 ME262. He lost tail control there. He's done.
actually. I'm gonna play one more battle, but I'm gonna do this solo. So I'm gonna leave you guys with your battle. Oh, fuck, of course it's an order. I really don't want domination. There we go. Play one. Oh. Fuel. 20 minutes should be fine. Right. Uh, it doesn't look like an absolutely awful matchup. I forgot that they added the Alpha Jets. Sadly, my streams will decline over the next month. Why is that? Mm. My work times are getting changed for next month. Instead of 40-ish hours, it'll be almost 60. Where do you work? Mm -hmm. As a mechanic, a smallish car dealership. Ah, oh, okay. Well, that's gonna suck. I mean, the pay might be decent, but still, that's gonna suck. Oh. <sighs> The Milan. Unfortunately, I signed up for the suck when I chose this line of work. Yep. I got out of that line of work before I had to commit to it completely. Do not regret that decision. Embrace the suck. Uh, I had enough of that with another job. That I stuck with for far too long. This guy's jumping all over the place.
Hello, Pac. How are you? It's not worth. Yeah, I know it's not worth. That's why I got out of it. Alright. Have fun eating. I have no idea what that critical hit was on that Swift. Clearly it wasn't that big big of a deal, but he's still flying. <sighs> this wing is very annoying right now. It will not let me turn. Well, that sucked. Yeah, there's a reason I don't play this thing. Because it's just not fun. Alright. That left a sour taste in my mouth. VB. Time for VB. Kuban. All right, that's not that bad. All righty. Guns. All of them. Ah, uh, fail squadron. Those squadrons are always so damn stupid. Damn, I didn't realize he already got all the way over there. 
That's impressive. Fuck you. The enemy is winning. Yeah, my kill this time. Of course he dropped a bomb and it happened to go off right when I was over it. Stupid. Jesus, I am not having fun right now. Just give me a good battle, please. I do not ask for much. Another smallish map. Oh, hey, I see one. Attention to the map. Attention to the map. Well, when there's two T-18s, two Wyverns, two VBs, oh, sorry, three Wyverns, a Yak-9, a PEA, yeah, the enemy team's not gonna have fun. <laughs> oh, an XP-55. Don't see too many of those compared to the XP-50. Yeah, someone else can go have fun with a 264. I'm not gonna bother.
didn't realize he was stuck in a spin until it was too late. Goodbye. Oh, he got my wing. That's sad. Huh. Got stuck on a barrel roll. Well, got two kills. We should win this anyways. I have no idea why this is at 4.3. That's no reason to be. Let's keep the pressure on. Victory is close. So there's the there's that. Mm, let's look at the act three. The nation of popcorn. Where's the other one? No, I didn't see it. Rip. So your Jaguar video is so good, is it? You think so? How so? And go like it. Yeah. That is true. I've had that idea for a while. I just never executed on it until a few days ago. I like the transitions. Well, that's good. I think that is a problem I do struggle with, is I my timing is off with stuff. Yeah, you can tell though that I'm not used to recording. Because like my... Sometimes I uh, stop talking and like I think. Yeah, the April Fool's one. The problem with the April Fool's one is people didn't watch it until April 2nd. That was that one's problem. Because the algorithm just didn't show it. Yeah. Thing is, is I, the problem with the War Thunder videos, though, is I don't know what else to make, really. Well, I still do that. But I'm, I'm more used to it on uh, stream rather than video. Because obviously you have to think differently on a video rather than a stream. You can't just say whatever on a stream.
wall. Alright, this game's over. Mm-hmm. But I mean, like, do you have any suggestions of what I can make? For a video? For War Thunder, at least. Like, I have my fours of videos that I can do. I can't, I can't really give an opinion on the F20 because I don't, I, I'm not in the position to where I can spend $70 on an F20. Because I'm not, I'm not part of the community test flight. Yeah, I could do that. Problem is, the F-20 is already out. Depends on how you execute it. I used to do it and it got easy 75 views, you know. To be fair though, 75 isn't exactly a lot. <laughs> Glad you gave it a like, though, because that helps out. We all start somewhere. Exactly, exactly. I don't know. My War Thunder videos are weird because they never do well until a few days after. And then they do, well, I guess it really depends. But, like, then they do fine for whatever reason. What the fuck? You have a beard? Yeah. Which video are you talking about? Huh? Oh, end of 2023 update. Yeah. My I've grown my beard longer than that. I need to actually look at that one. Yeah, that was when I uh got a goatee a little bit. I've done goatee, I've gotten full beard. Yeah, I cut it. Oh, God. I think that might have cut that like the middle of January. I don't remember when I cut that. You look better with no beard. I've heard varying opinions. I'm, so I'm just gonna play until like we're done talking. Cause I was about to get off, but then you commented about the videos, and I was like, okay. Guess I'll, guess I'll stay on until, until we're done with this. Play fifty more. God no. I've probably just played fifty. I don't know. So you you said the F twenty. The problem is, is the F twenty already came out, and I'll just look it up and see how many videos there are of the F twenty. Oh, 
Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Or no. There's at least nine. Right off the bat. And they're all over a month old. I don't know. New idea. What's that? What's your brand? Grand spanking new idea. Hide and seek with your community? How the hell would that work? <laughs> You figure it out. Well, it can't be a stream because then they, they could just watch the stream. I don't know that I could do a recorded video of that, but I don't know. The BM... The what? I have no clue what that is. Legit. Oh, for fuck's sake. Tank just had 1.3 missiles on it. Oh. Is that a premium, though? Of course. Well, of course it is. Why would I be surprised otherwise? Oh, fuck off. I put it out. Oh. Uh, crap. I, I'm trying to remember when the next battle pass comes out. Testing videos are also good because people who want that premium will watch your vid before they buy it. Yeah, true. I could make videos of the premiums I already have. I mean, the Japanese F4 that I have. I also have the uh, Swedish M4. Have the F5C. Top speed, no gear landing, normal landing. I see. So you did like informational videos, basically?
Trying to see. How did the uh, how did that go for you? In my life, and I got 110. You only did one? That's impressive. It's fun doing it as well. Oh well, yeah. I bet. So you only made one War Thunder video. Or is it, or are you meaning like something different? Oh, you just made one big video. Okay, okay, I got you now. I got you. Sorry, I was a little confused. Goodbye. Oh, you don't want this smoke, dude. Poor dude, yeah, he didn't, he didn't know what hit him. <laughs> well, he does know what hit him, which was a lot of lead. That was, that was disappointing as hell, I'm not gonna lie. Come here, IL. Uh. Sometimes you forget how big this damn thing is and how unmaneuverable it can be. Oh, well, he doesn't have a wing anymore. That's a Spitfire, right? Oh, hell no. This is French. <laughs> This is Viva La France. This is a VB twin engined. Deadly as hell. I can't even see that. Yeah, totally. Goodbye. This thing wrecks Russian aircraft like nobody's business. What the fuck, what? Alright, stop moving. There we go. How many times have you been... You're gonna kill the whole lobby. <laughs> I've only killed three. How many times have you been team killed? Uh, three, four times, I believe. I already made a video about my team, about a team killing issue that I had a month ago. I don't know if you've seen that. You probably have. It's actually my most popular video. 
which is sad. Hey, what's up, 787? I'll watch it after stream. It's not that long of a video. Oh, for fuck's sake. I saw 45 seconds of it. Ah. I think 45 seconds in is where the first team kill is. It was the same guy, though. That's what really sucked about it. Just got home from school. Nice, nice, nice. I'm sure you're glad to not be in school. Finally got that reward done. Yeah, funnily enough, it's much easier to defeat strike aircraft when you're in strike aircraft. Who knew? Well, this isn't a strike. Okay, a, a fighter that gets an air spawn. Le triumphant. By the way, I was smart and started a long haul flight before I went to school. Well, Microsoft Flight Sim, yeah. How's that going? Over China right now. That's a. It's an interesting place to be. Started in Egypt and on my way to Japan. Ah, wait. Why are you over? Why are you over China then? Oh wait, no. Technically, if you go along the lo the long yeah longitude, then yeah, you will end up in China. Never mind, southern China, but still where are you uh, landing Oh, Hanada Airport. Gotcha. I uh, still don't have the Tiny Tims. That's kind of frustrating. I know there's Hanada and there's uh, Narita in Tokyo. I don't know about the others. But I'm pretty sure those are the two major ones in Tokyo. Is Hanada and Narita. <laughs> Two four. Take him down. 
So how much uh, more of a, the flight do you have to go? <laughs> that was definitely interesting. The enemy is winning. We must counter attack. Yeah, he should be dead finally. Yay! Did trash our base though, which is kind of unfortunate. anyone coming for me. about McDonald's. Yes. McDonald's has done. Gotcha, gotcha. Do, 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 do. So what are you up to, uh, Pepper? Being you're out of school? For the time being? Shit. Ah, oh, turn. Man, 
Let's see. Hilarious. Yay, Tiny Tim Rockets. halfway to the F3 day which ain't fast not in the slightest Did you actually hear my question, Pepper? My Wi-Fi is having stroke. Ah. Well, that would be a no, then. Oh, <sighs> uh, what are you up to? How's that going? Is it actually, though? Or are you just being a smartass? At rank 3.7? Okay, so you're at KB1S level. Around that. T34. I honestly didn't really enjoy it but it wasn't bad either it it just sort of existed for me Well, time to gain a lot of speed. Especially being all my hard points are gone now.
They won't know what hit them. Mm. Better target. Much better target, actually. Well, that's if I could aim. Of course he's still going for me. Despite clearly seeing that you are going to die if you do this. Well, at least he should die. Okay, finally. Have you gone to the uh, T-3457 yet? Have you gotten the uh, top round yet, though? With it? Because it can pen a lot of shit. And it's actually fairly accurate. Unlike the 76mm trash that you end up with so often. Why am I still stable? The fuck? I don't have a wing! Well, that would be why. Because the top round gets like 140 mils a pen. This thing should not be flying. See if I can land this. I will be sad if we lose. I was going to the wrong fucking base. I'm an idiot. Fuck, I'm gonna crash. if that guy was uh now nah. I'm clipping that if I still can hey bean what's up
I think you just missed me killing something with only half a wing. Or even less than that. I only have one wing. Nice, nice. I've been awake 11 hours. Man, what's with everyone playing Fallout 4? Like, I, I know that the uh, TV show just came out and it's really good, but, like, come on. Yeah, I came first. Let's go. All right, now I can have bombs. Mm, I'll finally go for the G suit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, I should be able to buy. Yeah, get the banshee now. Fallout seventy six better. Mm, I don't know about that. From what I've heard, the third one's the best of all of them, and a lot of people do not like seventy six. For sure. Okay. Attention to the designated grid zone. <sighs>
Well, let's see how much of the base he destroys. Pretty much all of it. Lovely. Welcome back. You didn't miss anything. Believe it or not. Well, that was actually accidental. I didn't mean to crash there, but, oh well. Actually, let's try and make some credits. Try, keyword. So, um, back to what you were talking about, though, um, uh, Pepper, I could do a, uh, first thoughts on the, uh, Chinese PLZ 83130 for a video, being that's starting up, uh, next week. I'll have to see um, if you can actually look at it. At the moment.
Here above. Okay. Sorry, I was just reading up on it. That was barely moving. Somehow not surprised. Legit, why was I not surprised when I saw what it was going at approximately Mach 2 that it was going to uh, blow the fuck up? Of course, the Ak-9 that was two kilometers away was all of a sudden on my back. Stupid. That's the only one so far. That's not what I'm looking for.
That is not it. Okay. I was trying to see if I could find a, uh, like, link to it, but, oh well. This cruising along at 813 kilometers an hour. I'm guessing they were over there. This one's probably going to be easier to uh, do anything with.
<laughs> yeah, I didn't really do a whole lot to it. Other than I did set fire to it, I believe. Alright, let's now let's go after this thunder streak. Sorry, the MD450 is just a thunder streak. Alright, let's see if he survives that 262. So if he does, then I'm gonna pay him a visit. That looks like that ME 262 overshot. To be fair, that wasn't that hard. <laughs> well, if you guys are all going to be chasing after that, I'm going to go after this A4. I don't mind if I do. What's so funny? Hmm. It is me, the British going to. What's up, uh, sus though? Red sus. Everything is life. Even life is life. It's a man. Nice, nice. 
I am now top dog. How about that? Oh, this is good aircraft. Definitely. Oh, hey, I know that logo. Hmm. Do this. All right, give me the thousand pounders. I'm gonna have to get a drink after this. Probably make a tea or a coffee. Give me a nice shot of energy. Series of three, three Sky Raider, no, four Sky Raiders. Another F eighty four that's in front of me. An F three D. Jesus, we're all just a strike aircraft. Fucking hell. All cogs don't run in my family, they drive. Eee! Put that on a Christmas card. Fuck off, dude. Yeah, 
have a hole in your left wing. Yeah, I fucking noticed. Actually, I didn't have a hole in my left wing. It was my right wing. I have the master or baiting. Someone might even call me a master. Mm. Yeah, I ain't finishing that. Heh. Finish. Hmm. <laughs> I'll have to go out now. Have a good one also, W stream. Alright. See you man. Thanks for stopping in. Giving me some ideas. <sighs> so how are you, sus?
shit, he's still really, really high up. He did not come down, which, well, well, that's why. He's heading straight up. And got the DB3. Oof. <sighs> Who the fuck's shooting at me? Oh. I don't give a shit about you. Shit about you either. I figured, being I destroyed his tail control, he wasn't going to be able to control his aircraft very well. Back it. God damn, this is taking a lot. Finally. That took way too much. Alright, there's only three of them left. Let's grab this BF-110. Heinrich von Huss, you shall bow to the greatness. Of the Japanese F4 Corsair.
damn awkwardness. There he is. Waiting for landing. Couldn't figure out where he was. Apparently he was behind the mountain. The whole time. Alright. Let's get you eliminated. So that's three real life kills, that's three AI kills. I'll definitely take that. Should give me a good payday as well. Pillbox, pillbox. Go after the pillbox. I mean, what else am I gonna go after? Damn. Thought that would have gotten it. Whee! Alright, let's turn around, waste the rest of our ammo. Time to go back. Mm -hmm. I guess it's time to see... Oh, there is an HE-111 there. That's interesting. Hmm. Hey, he got him. I mean, it took him with... He sacrificed his aircraft, but I mean worth it. If it works, it works. I'm not complaining. I can't even see where my tail's damaged. Hmm. Oh well. Just keep it up. 
shit, I didn't realize how much speed I was gonna just lose there. Oh well. Alright. Basically just researched an entire 5.0. Jeez. What is my stats in this thing now? 51 games, 99 kills. Fucking hell. That's almost 2 to 1. Actually... Yeah, almost. Getting close. There we go. We now have the F2H. Play a few games of this, see what we think, and then... We'll see if we can get rid of the drop tanks. Shit, actually has radar. How about that? Attention to the map! I didn't check and see what guns there. 20 mils. Okay, okay. Problem is, is I'm not fast. I'm also way behind in the battle.
couple BIs. Let's get 60 speeders. Yeah, Meteor, SK-60, SK-60, J-6. Uh, I'm going to have to get used to this shell velocity because it's probably going to be different than both the F-80 and the F-84. This thing doesn't really lose that much speed turning. It's fairly impressive. Right, let's see if I can catch this J6. The answer to that is no. Well, might as well kill this before I die. And of course he shot my tail off immediately. Says you're in a meteor, means you're OP as fuck. It's another game that's already taking place. <laughs> All right. Our victory is near.
Vampire, I mean, 163. Packet loss right there. That's not ideal. Twenty-nine. I really don't want to be going against all those because they're all super fucking agile. But it's not much of a choice. And of course. And of course, I overshoot, and he immediately takes my fucking. I'm not impressed with this thing so far. But, anyways. That's gonna be it for me. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. If you like what you see and you haven't already, consider following me. Uh, give me a second here. Camera, there we go. Yeah, like I said, if you uh, like what you see, consider following me. Um, I'll be on later today with probably more Minecraft. Uh, actually, it'll be Faz. Yeah, it'll be Phasmophobia with uh, Kitty and a few others. I promised to do it with her. So, I'm going to finally come through on that promise. Um, I will probably get scared shitless. So, yeah. Till then, uh, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.